LPT, if something claims to be free, you are the product. Except for your local library. We offer plenty of free services. But we won't sell your personal information to anyone. Privacy is a core ethic of the American Library Association. To be fair though, almost every public library is strongly tax supported. So for local residents it's more a case of you've already paid for it. You might as well use it. Apostrophe. Thanks for doing what you do. Libraries are a true treasure. This is good advice, but it gives open source an unjustly bad name. This. VLC. Firefox. Wikipedia. The list goes on. Some people just have a passion for things and want to give back to the world. That and if you give others tools to make things, they might make tools for others as well. Well. A point to add, as a few examples have illustrated already, if a product claims to be free and the producer is a profit-seeking organization, you are the product. Not that there's anything inherently wrong with it, as long as you are aware of the risk. Not that there's anything inherently wrong with it me big problem is, when a company presents itself as a purveyor of benevolent free services when their intent is to use those services, to monetize users' data without their knowledge or consent. It's a classic bait and switch painted over with fancy digital hues. Link. Wired. Com slash story slash what happened to Facebook's grand plan to wire the world slash. Well technically, the users didn't read what they sign up for because they are too lazy. Most of the time at least. Yes but it's this type of loophole logic which is allowing these companies to do things like this in the first place. But you always have the responsibility to understand everything you sign. If you think there's potential risk that results in you being taken advantage of, then you shouldn't sign whatever that is. Like Kudra did fit this definition, their servers are not running on faith and prayers. That's for sure. Except for Linux and other free software. Free as in freedom the more I use Linux, the more I despise Facebook, Google and other spying corp. S. It is unfortunate that English doesn't make a good distinction between Libra and Gratis. Linux is Libra. Google is Gratis. Facebook slash Twitter slash Google slash etc don't sell your data. They sell ads. And then target those ads using the data. It's a subtle but important difference. Thank you. It's a very important distinction to make. Companies that actually just sell your data to whoever is buying can only sell it a couple of times until it's basically worthless. There are very few companies that actually do this because it's ultimately pretty dumb. Companies that keep the data to themselves and use it to sell targeted advertising and other data-driven products can keep selling it over and over again. It's a far better business model and gets more valuable over time. What about free samples in Costco? You pay for the membership so technically not free. That's not why they give free samples. You'll get free samples in all kinds of stores. Put in a positive way. They give free samples to ensure potentially new customers discover their product. Another perspective is that they are exploiting your lack of self-control and your projection bias to make you spend more on their product than what's in your best interest. Indeed those are more comparable to free trials. You get a small quantity for free to get acquainted with the product and decide if you like it. Well, and I mean, advertising. There's a shitload of people on Facebook. So of course people will pay to advertise there. You realize this. To write, edit, also. Reddit is free to use lol. Receiving money from advertisers in account for having users look at the adverts is selling the user. I get what you're saying, though it word it slightly differently, nonetheless, are preferred solely to selling your data, which isn't the case, that's all. Libria for Sanu slash Linux, Ubuntu, etc, Firefox, Jump, Audacity to Mastodon, although personally I dislike Mastodon, there's a tiny movement towards using software and websites that respect your freedom. Hell it boggles my mind that people use Chrome or Edge. But they do. Because they don't want to change or something. Most people have no idea they can change their program of choice for an alternative. Nor do they care. They just want to get the job done. It's like with dieting. 
Some people just try and fail because they do it wrong. Many people just have no idea how to eat healthy in sustainable manner, as unbelievable as this sounds. And there is plenty of misinformation online. Once I started researching diets, you know what came up in my search results on top, he's blogs. I don't think this include open source freeware. Question, if you're using something you do pay for, what's stopping them from doing the same thing? You paying them plus them selling you out equals 2x the profit. No. Trust from their customers but nothing else really. Most companies will always use your data for their internal marketing and used for selling targeted ads. How about Linux? Wikipedia. Nope. Look up free and open source software. They'll all turn when they get popular enough. Google sent me a free Google Home. And I haven't set it up yet cause I feel weird about it. I don't want to be paranoid, but I can't think of any other reason they'd give it away except for shady spying purposes. To me it seems most likely that this is because they want to hook you into the Google ecosystem. So you go buy more smart home devices made by Google. Probably something done by their marketing team. Not their analytics team. Google homes are dirt cheap for them with a huge profit margin. Yeah the home mini is there to provide a surprisingly good experience for the low cost, making you want more Google in your life. Brand familiarity and comfort leads to more trust, and then you buy more Google products. The more data they collect from you, the better fit you become for specialized advertisements, leading to Google being able to demand more from advertisers for their services. Eventually Google will run into the problem of they have enough, they don't want to buy any more. And then they will try to influence your desires and spending habits themselves. How does this apply to raising children? Children get all this free stuff from their parents. Well hate to tell you. Children are a product of the parents. You hope the children will give money to you when you retire or can be also seen as a payment for free sex. But honestly, you are usually not getting sex for free initially. This is such a basic, entry-level conspiracy theorist way of thinking. As others have pointed out, advertising is the main source of income for most digital services out there. Even sites without user tracking use ads to keep their servers online. And yes, big companies tend to sell their users browsing habits in order to direct them to more relevant ads. Facebook and everything Google related are major offenders in this regard. The way you put it leads me to believe that your point is they are selling your 4 year old pictures, your vacation statuses, your private chats with your grandma. If so, you're being paranoid. Companies don't care about you. They only want to know which demographic you lie into. So they can put more appropriate ads in your home pages. Your data is nothing but another number to them. And there's loads of open source apps and free IRL services that have no ill intention towards their user. Please inform yourself better before stating such a generalizing pro tip. So over the air television sold people, this expression is dumb. Targeting advertising is what's being sold. That's not selling you. What about Reddit? Also applied to bars and clubs that offer women free entry. Data has surpassed oil link. Economist. Com slash leaders slash 2017 slash 05 slash 06 slash the world's most valuable resources no longer oil but data. Also, if you are paying for a digital service, they are tracking you and selling your data. If that's debatable, it depends on the company. And once a year Zuckerberg appears before Congress appearing nice and contrite apologizing for their mistakes and promising to fix them. Then he goes home and tells everybody business as usual. But try a little harder not to get caught. Next year same story. How do I cancel my free healthcare? Move to a different country. Tiny laptops in their pockets with unlimited data plans. What? Where? Where exactly are these unlimited data plans? I must have one. What about free parking? They want you to shop spend your money there, and you are more likely to do that if the parking is free. Is a piece of common knowledge considered a LPT now? You must be new here. Your data is only worth a small amount. 
It's when you have data for many 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 people you can sell it. Generally, if I recall, it was broken down a bit. You're worth about 5 to 10 bucks each to Google. But Google has billions of users data. Porn is the largest offender in this. Think of the effects pf its consumption on men. We are the product a doctile and easy to manipulate population. Quit and boycott porn. I see that Reynolds rap won't be going out of business anytime soon. Hey, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.